Hello. <laughs> I, uh, my friend Matt said that I have the millennial pause. Like, I pause before I talk, and I, I'm really aware of it right now. <laughs> um, and my ums. Oh, God. So, welcome to From Chaos to Country. This is, I believe, episode 18. And again, I'm in my bedroom. I was going to go downstairs. The kids are watching a video right now. And Jacob has discovered how to call me on Google. So I'm taking a risk right now being up here because he can just interrupt the whole thing and call me on Google, <laughs> even though he's downstairs. Um, I have realized something. And I don't know if people feel this way. I, I, I honestly want to think that I'm an optimist, even though my DNA has told me that I'm not so much an optimist. I'm less likely to be optimistic, which kind of was like, oh, okay, makes sense. But, and I'm trying to think if I was more optimistic when... I only had myself to take care of. You know what I mean? Like when, when it's just you and you're like, I'm working, I'm doing this thing, I'm going, you know, you have your apartment you have to worry about and just like your life. I wonder, now some people might not agree with me. I wonder if it's easier to be optimistic um, or like figure things out when it's just you. Some people might, disagree because I know at times I was, when I was single and living by myself, I'm, I know that I had like, oh, this angst or whatever, but I was so busy working that I didn't really have a lot of time to wallow because I worked all the time, which is probably why I'm having such a hard time with not working minus the financial part of it. But I mean, when I say busy with a schedule and I want to say that I, I think I do well with a schedule and my whole entrepreneur, I don't want to put entrepreneurship in quotes. I was just doing the quotes for those that are audio listening. I have two followers, I think on Spotify that listen to this. Um, <laughs> I, I don't even know if I'm saying it's not for me because I either have too hard of a time focusing, I haven't figured it out yet, or I just haven't organized it or found the way to make it happen. So I don't know. I do know that I, myself, might be addicted to chaos. And I don't create it in my outside world. I mean, I don't create it with the kids. I don't create it with in my marriage. I don't create it... Um, in our home, outside, it's more my own uh, mind. And um, I was listening, I don't know if you guys ever heard of a guy named Dr. Joe Dispenza. He's great and he really touched on the addiction to lack or anger or resentment or whatever it is that you're dealing with, uh, unworthiness. And when, now look, I can't speak on Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm not an alcoholic. Uh, alcohol, I mean, I have a glass of wine. I'm, I make specialty drinks because I enjoy it. I, I definitely, now, if I've gone out, especially we went out with my sister-in-law and my, my husband and my sister-in-law, they were having a blast. They were drinking. Woo! Me, I was like, oh, we are we are done. We are not going to continue this. This will not be good. We're going to stop. We've had our limit. Was it two or three drinks? Yeah, it was, uh, it's, not, it's not nearly where I can go or want to go anymore. <laughs> I have no desire. Um, I have no desire to be rip-roaring drunk. Do I want to be on a beach? Not necessarily having to go in the beach, or just like by a pool in Mexico with a margarita. Sure. Who doesn't? Who doesn't want to be in some a place that looks like paradise, sipping on a margarita, chilling, you know. Everybody's enjoying the life, playing in the pool safely, you know. Um, absolutely. But when I'm 
when I what I know of alcoholics, I am not an alcoholic. Doesn't mean I don't have my own things. But what I've heard about AA is, you know, you, you don't drink one day at a time. And that's why the programs of like Al-Anon and OA and DA are so tough for people because you have to think and you have to eat and you have to spend money. It's just part of life. So when I'm thinking in DA, Debtors Anonymous, we call it out earning my disease. I'm trying to find a job to make the money just so we could be okay. That's, it's not like I can walk into like a restaurant and go, hey, I'm here, start my shift. It, but, so I can drop off a resume, but, which I've done um, to a couple places just because I'm trying to put the energy out there. Now, putting the energy out there, right? I would like my own radio show on a schedule that works for me and my family. And also just my podcast to get a lot of followers. And and also, why do I want a lot of followers? Is it just for the money? I actually want to put content out there that will help people. I want to help. I want to be of service. And I need to earn, too. All this is to say that I think I... And it sounds so simple, right? Like I've been focusing on this, uh, you know, I, I'm not making any money, blah, blah, blah. That ain't going to help anything because money is a, an energy. It's a flow. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard this, but, um, that's why it's called currency because it's a current. It flows in, it flows out. Um, I thought that was pretty interesting. I don't know where I heard that one. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's not something that's going to get cured like in an instant, but what I can do is one, work on the insides, which I talked about, which it's a work in progress every day, my God. And for an impatient person, it is like, um, I can also do things to put the energy out there of, earning or, or generating the flow of income. I'm going to do a live on TikTok. We'll see what happens. Let's have fun. I want to make a fancy drink, which I think I really, really like. And I want to practice drawing because I love cartoons and I love drawing and I haven't given myself the time to do it yet. And so that's another thing I'm going to have fun doing. And if people want to join me, they can join me on TikTok. That'll be fun. And also to, I'm really going to work on being present with the kids. I've found that I've been so focused on how am I going to make money? How am I going to do this? How are we going to, you know, that I haven't given myself like time to be in the moment because I'm like, I can't be in the moment till I make money and then give myself permission to be in the moment. Well, that's not helpful. Uh, mind you, this is all my internal that I'm, externally saying so and I had a really great meeting with my friend the other day and he really was generous and with his time and and basically he's like lean in to you like lean in to me so that's what I'm gonna do I don't know how to do it exactly I'm 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 just gonna keep trying I'm gonna keep showing up I do know that I need to shift that focus I have been hyper focused that I've got to figure it out. There's not enough and that I have enough, you know, 12 step in my brain to know that's not how it works. Figure it out is not a slogan. Um, so don't know how it's going to go, but accountability, right? It's Wednesday. We'll see how it goes for next Wednesday. I'm not expecting, you know, it's like, look at me. I'm like by next Wednesday. I'll be reporting. I made about four hundred thirty-six thousand dollars last week from affiliate marketing. No offense to affiliate marketers, but let's be honest. Okay. Um. All right. I will talk to you next week. Bye.